Hey everybody out there in U2 land, this is Mike again with Spending Their Inheritance. Uh, I just thought I'd do a short video today. I had a lot of people ask us about pistons and why most pullers have to have their engines freshened every year, or we cho choose to. Um, so we just got ours back yesterday, waiting on putting it in the chassis again, uh, chassis coming hopefully shortly to get out to the Pullers Championship. Um, so we got the old pistons out, and most of you probably know we had a unfortunate bad accident down in Ocala, Florida this winter where things went wrong and it went end over end, and the injection had actually swallowed a lot of sand and pulling track uh, clay and went through the engine. So when our engine builder took it apart, I just thought I'd show you what he found. And uh, obviously, we, cho we choose to run diamond pistons in ours. We've had awful good luck with them now for five seasons or whatever it's been. Um, these are the pistons that come out. And if, if you all are friend, at all familiar with motors, they're pretty ugly. Um, this one here was out of number one cylinder. And if you can see the scuffing on that, that was from most of the grit that went through it. And on top of the, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see it better. On top of the pistons, some of them are very ugly. And that's all from the stuff that went through it. Now, a couple ain't too bad that it didn't get to. Like that guy there had a little scuffing on the front. And over here, this one the same. But these are the eight pistons that came out of it. And like I say, you can see the damage on them and some of the grit you can actually scrape off with your finger. And not good for a motor, obviously. So we ended up, we was able to hone it and put new pistons in. Fortunately, we had no major engine damage, and we put new pistons and rods and some other things inside of it and came up with a, an engine that's hopefully ready to go here in a couple of weeks. We're hoping to get to the Polar's Championship out there. We were very happy and very humbled to be invited to it by you fans, and we we're going to try to give you a little more technical updates this year. But on this charger, or the new charger sitting on top of the motor, so we're looking forward to doing some good things this year. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like if you would. We're trying to build our network and channels and hope to keep providing some interesting content from you. Again, Mike from Spending Their Inheritance, and we're looking forward to seeing you all at the Polar Championship in May. Thank you much for watching.